Hi, this is Sheree with Rehash Fiber. Today we're going to talk about the very basics of getting started in needle felting a picture. It is so much fun to needle felt. It's just something that is so different than the other things we're doing where we're using our fingers and our minds and concentrating on patterns. This is just very enjoyable. It's great because the tools that you need are very simple. You need your needle, you need your sponge mat, and it's nice to have a nice, sharp, little fine tip scissors. Got my needle from Amazon. I got my replacement needles and mat from Paradise Fibers. And I'm sure there's many other places you can get it, just sharing with you where I got mine. That's all you need to get started. But now you need the base. There are a variety of fabrics you can use, and I read an article about that, so I'm gonna include that in the show description so you can read it if you would like. But the two bases that I was thinking about using are linen and canvas. I decided to go with the linen, and I'm very, very happy with that. So you can go to your local fabric store and get as much of that as you need. So I got my linen. Now, for the medium to get your picture on it, it is fiber. I decided to stay with all wool because I knew that would felt and I just wanted to be consistent. There are different forms. You can do a nice sheet of fiber felt. I got this from livingfelt.com. This is great for when you want to, say, trace and cut out an area that's going to be exact, like say, a petal on a flower. You have it the exact shape you need it. You can put it on your linen and needle felt it in. It's good for if you just want to cover an area with the color. Now, when I was at Paradise Fibers, I bought a few packs, a variety of colors that I knew I would want to do in my project of combed top colored robing ready to go. You can just pull this off and you can needle felt it on. That's another form. You can also just take your raw wool and needle felt that in. And you can use your blending board to blend colors. So say you're doing a green grassy hillside and you want a variety of greens in there, you can blend them on here. Next, to get your image on your linen. If you are good at looking at a picture and then drawing it on your linen, awesome, good for you. I am not that good. I found a piece of clip art online, printed it out to the size I wanted and traced it on. Then I referred back to that picture for how I was gonna do my coloring. If none of that works for you, and you just want to do a beautiful, go back to that green hillside again with a sunset and nothing is sharp and exact, you can have fun doing that, just playing with colors. So I'm gonna tell you about this lifelong project I've started. I wanted to needle felt an image, but my wall space at my house is completely used up. So I did not want to do an image or a bunch of little images that I now need to find a place for it to go. But I did want to do something, and I wanted to do something that meant something to me. So I thought, I travel, I explore, I experience. From each of those, usually something comes from that that I really keep visually referring back to. So I decided to do that on this. I got a few yards of linen. I had my daughter, who is a great artist for her hobby, to draw the United States on it. Now, each time that I have a memorable experience in the United States, I'm going to needle felt that image over that state area. So I got started with the loggerhead sea turtle in the Gulf of Mexico for a couple of reasons. Uh, my daughter was doing research when she was at Florida State on the loggerheads in the Gulf. So that was a draw. And then also she is the daughter that asked me to make the sea turtle blanket for her that I did in an episode a while back. So I'll include that episode at the end. 
So I thought that would be a great place to get started. So check out what I was working on. All right, just a couple things I wanna cover with you. If you're not sure on how to do edges, I did them a couple of different ways. You can actually just continue to needle felt in around the edge. But if you want a more exact edge, you can take your fiber, bend it over, and you see that nice edge there? Now you hold that down and needle felt that in. That really helps. Also, if you want to outline something, you can take yarn, or I did a spun single, and you can make it an outline and needle felt that in. So that's a couple of things you can do. Just think about the image you want, and do you want it more outlined, or do you want it more flowy? It's up to you. So I hope this helped you. If you were thinking about starting to needle felt, I urge you, just get started. It's just really fun to do. All right, everybody. Happy needle felting and thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this programming, I invite you to become a supporting member. There are a couple of ways you could help out. You can go to my website, rehashfiber.com, and under supporting members, it takes you to Patreon, where you can give as little as $3 a month. If you sign up to Patreon, you get a little thank you gift of the Rehash Fiber pin, and that's mailed within the United States only. The other way you can help out also through my website is check out the merchandise. There is a ton of fun things from t-shirts, water bottles, coffee bags, project bags, and more. So your support will go to the fees that it takes to keep this going every month, products and road shows and more. So thank you for any amount of support and thanks for watching.